I am the Ethnomusicology Lecturer at Rhodes University. IMS African Ensemble started in 2017. What we decided to do was to have a course where, a full credit course at the university, where students didn't have to have a musical background in order to do it. And what we would do is introduce them to different forms of African music. And the nicest thing that's come out of it is that students who never had the chance to do music whether it be because their school didn't offer it or whether they thought they weren't good enough or talented enough, have been given this opportunity. And it's actually been quite liberating for lots of people. My name is Elijah Madiba and uh, my title or my job here is I'm a sound engineer and a, uh, the studio manager for ILM. Since 2002 when I started working here, I, we've had lots of visits from schools. Kids coming in here and we would give them tours, show them around, you know, uh, tell them about African music and find they know nothing. If we don't intervene and do something about this, it's going to fade out. One of the most important things that ILAM can do right now in 2019 is to make sure that the music that we have in the holdings is valued in the way it should be valued. And I think that that is what the, the, the most positive aspect of everything that's going on is. I would like to see uh, African music being respected the same way as any kind of music. You know, in our universities, emphasis is put on Western uh, music, a classical and all that. In Western music, you must sit alone in a room and practice very hard by yourself for a long time before you feel comfortable to play with other people. Whereas with African music, you join in on the very first day and you make music right from then. It's a place to de-stress. Um, you come here, you have all the hectic other subjects, and then you come here and you learn, and it's basically therapeutic. Like, you just come here, you play music, and then you forget, and that is even a class. Like, it's so um, informal but formal, but also it's a place where you come and just, it's a place where you look forward to coming to. Yeah. All of the lecturers are community musicians. So these community musicians, are using their knowledge from their lives in order to engage in this. It's a three-year course at this stage going on to a fourth year. In the first year we have four main modules. The first is um, marimba, then there's African instruments such as pan pipes, amadinda, uhadi, drumming. The third module is African song and dance and then the fourth one is history and contextualization. The way we assess it is in a, from a performance perspective. In a performance space, so much happens that doesn't happen in an examination space. You respond to the audience. The audience actually becomes a part of your assessment. And it's incredible how you can feed off that energy and what you learn in that moment. Sometimes I was ashamed that I don't even know some of the music from where I come from. So I wanted to learn more about the, the music that is here. This course taught me that uh, it's, it's never too late to start learning. If you've ever had that feeling that you would love to get involved in something musical, but you've been afraid to, this is the opportunity for you to do so. It opens doors. It shows you that everybody is musical and it shows you that you can actually do it. Please join. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Yeah.